Hi everyone, uh, I would like to show you how I use workflow way uh, as my second brain for my smart notes and as my Zettelkasten system. These are my notes. I use workflow way to keep my notes and I work on Mac, but you can use my system anywhere you want. Okay, so let me walk you through my notes. Uh, here you can see admin tasks. Yes. I do not use a dedicated to-do list app. I keep my tasks in my notes. I find it easier because I also use timeboxing to keep my bigger tasks directly in my calendar to uh, make them done. Feed, this is my inbox for ideas that I collect uh, throughout the day, uh, which, I can, which I can sort later. I don't like to call it an inbox because inbox sounds like work and I don't want my notes to sound like work. Daily pages, these are for my journaling entries. And the rest of my notes is sorted in a para structure, which is a method of organizing your life and your notes. And I really love it. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, projects, so this is lists of things that I'm working on that have a short term goal. It's but they are longer than a task. I have three subfolders or sub notes for them. One is uh, personal. Uh, which are my personal projects like uh, choosing a school for a kid, uh, building a cottage, uh, redesign the kids room, etc. So these are my projects. Uh, I have the same for my uh, creation. So these are the videos, podcast episodes and, and uh, things I'm working on right now. So these are my open creative projects and this is my client work, workshops, seminars uh, and other things. Okay, so this is how I keep it. As soon as a project is done, no, for example, summer with kids, almost done. I would just uh, put a date and month like that to it and then move it to archive. Okay, like that. I just move it to archive and the project is done. Okay, so these are my projects. Areas, uh, this is for notes for my uh, areas of interest in life, for things I need to maintain in some level that never end. And I have three uh, actually five categories for my areas, which are uh, linked to my roles in life. So personal, myself, uh, my family, my business, me as a trainer, uh, as an instructor, and uh, me as a creator. In, and these have uh, uh, subfolders once again for health, mind, finance, etc. And same goes in, uh, in family, business, training and creating. And in areas, I like to keep practical notes. That means files, uh, files, uh, practical reference materials, uh, meeting notes, uh, documents, and these things related to my uh, areas. So these are areas and the resources. This is the most fun. This is where I learn. This is where I keep ideas, information about topics of my interest. And for that, I use the Settlecasten method. Okay, so this is my uh, this is uh, how my settlecast and style of notes look like. Uh, I will show you, for example, how I read a book and take notes with the book. That is very important for me. Uh, I'm an innovation trainer. I'm a creator. I need to learn every day. I need to connect ideas. I need to connect the dots. So let me show you. Okay, let's say I read a new book. So let me show you. Uh, this year's list of books I read, I create a new one. Let's call it, let's, it will be the checklist manifesto. Manifesto. Okay. I have some, uh, I have some note check checklist. I have some notes to add. I will do it later. I read most of my book on Kindle. So what I will do is I will copy paste, uh, Kindle highlights using the Readwise app. So I will copy it, paste it here just to keep it here. But keeping highlights is not enough to learn. Uh, I can add some of my own ideas and notes about the book. And for example, if I have some idea that is that goes beyond the book, uh, I can note it either right here or just uh, next uh, to a highlight. For example, this book is about checklists. And maybe my idea is that checklists are useful uh, when the activity is uh, broad and the mistakes are costly. So let me type you that. Okay, so now I click new and a new note, new note 
or node will be created. Okay, and where? Uh, it gets automatically created in a place which I call the seed box. This is where my new ideas come. And I like to keep it there. Uh, and now I, I need to plant it. I need to plant the seed. How I do it? Uh, I think idea only has a value when it's connected with some other ideas that I had before or collected before. So let me show you how I do that. Okay. So uh, let me fix that. Checklists. Okay. And for that, I have a I have my garden and through garden uh, I will enter my entrance and now sorry I keep a lot of my notes in check my uh, my native language so so this is for example questions about my life how to live a good life you know how to build relationships how to raise children uh, how to build new skills how to how companies can innovate for example so these are things that I'm interested long term in my life these are my 12 basic questions I would like to learn about. There are some other topics like leadership, change management, uh, tokipona, brain, and other stuff. So I, I, when I have a seed, I like to plant it somewhere. It could be multiple places. For example, a checklist that's about innovation and uh, about lean. So I, will, I have like a lot of notes. This is my map. This is my path through my garden. And see that there are links to a lot of notes that are stored in the, uh, in the garden. Okay, so what I like to do is to read through notes and find a good place. This is like a conversation of ideas that I have with myself. Okay, so so process innovation that sounds like the place. Okay, uh, automation here is standardization documentation. Oh, this is this is okay. So they say standardization is important, but how to do it? Okay, why? So I will put uh, the notes and I will just add the link checklists. Okay. Useful, and you see this is the this is the current note that that's currently in my seed box. I click enter, and now it's here. Okay, click here, fix the typo, and so this is my note in the seed box. But as soon as it's connected, uh, it, it, it I can I can move it to my garden. I'll move it to garden, so I know that this idea is already uh, already connected. Okay, my garden is just like a list of people and ideas and links that I don't usually go through. Uh, the way how I uh, learn and uh, and connect my notes is through these uh, playlists or maps of contents where the ideas from the garden I link are linked. The advantage of this system is that uh, uh, a note can be placed in several places. I can mention it uh, anywhere, and uh, it's very practical and it makes a logical internal conversation which sharpens my mind in these particular topics okay so i will show you uh, I will, let's go to the garden and i will show you how it looks when an idea it's very developed okay i call a green hashtag for that okay once again uh, most of them are in check but i will show you one so uh, for example uh, the key to uh, happiness is to Detach from things that we cannot change. Okay, important topic for me. If I open this note that started as a seed, you can see there are many, many references. There are links to some books. I can I have notes like, oh, in this book, uh, the author says this, yeah, but in the other book, it says the opposite. So I have a conversation in the note, and I have a lot of backlinks that lead uh, to the source uh, where, uh, where the idea is mentioned in books and, and my other resources. So basically, uh, subtle casting, uh, writing ideas, putting in a garden, linking, and later linking with some other similar notes, it's like writing a hundred books at a time. You just create content. And if I would like to uh, do a podcast episode or a YouTube video, I can just take one of my uh, well-developed green notes and I can start doing, uh, I can start doing an, an easy episode about that. So this is how I learn. This is how I built my settle casting system. This is my list of uh, ideas using the garden, the, the seed box and the maps of content here in my entrance. So that was my second brain in Workflowy. If you like that video, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.